Hey guys, how you doing out there? This is Crypto Goshen back with another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic Monday. Uh, now, let me forewarn you, this is going to be a long video, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to buy and mint uh, fractal Bitcoin. Uh, so it's going to be a long one. Uh, so just you know, bear with me. I think you're going to learn a lot from what uh, this whole new Bitcoin protocol is. It's super exciting. As a matter of fact, it's so exciting. Uh, this is sort of the visual I have, guys. So uh, imagine back in 2008 and 2009 when Bitcoin was being deployed and you had an opportunity to sit with the one of the founders or the founder of Bitcoin, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, and talk about your involvement with Bitcoin and you uh, looking for it to be deployed where you could go out and mint Bitcoin using some pretty sophisticated uh, software back then. And, and to know that anybody uh, in the world uh, that had knowledge of such back then could have actually gone out and minted or created Bitcoin via some code is pretty amazing, guys. So... So again, what I'm about to talk about may sound a bit hyperbolic. Uh, pardon me if that is the case, if that's how you perceive it, but I just want to make a case here to you guys. I think what is going to happen with this new deployment of uh, fractal Bitcoin is going to change a lot of things relative to Bitcoin itself. And, and some of the things that you can actually do on Bitcoin. Keep in mind, Bitcoin was initially created as money. A lot of people call it a store of value. A lot of people call it, as you guys know, been around in the industry for a while, uh, digital gold. Uh, but one of the one of the biggest knocks about the Bitcoin uh, network is the fact that you can't do much with it, right? Unlike the Ethereum network, where you can do a lot of things, like you can do meme coins uh, on Ethereum. You can uh, do gaming on Ethereum and its blockchain. You can do DeFi, right? Decentralized finance, where you can go out there and, and, and actually uh, help people make yield uh, and interest on their on their on their crypto, if you will. You you can't do for the most part most of that on Bitcoin. There's some exceptions. Uh, there there have been folks who've made uh, attempts to to try to. Uh, add more use cases, if you will, more utility to the Bitcoin uh, ecosystem. Uh, you guys heard of Bitcoin ordinals that came out about a year and a half ago where you could actually do mean coins on, on Bitcoin, on the Bitcoin network. And But that technology is apparently super cumbersome. And for that reason, you had Bitcoin rooms, which I've done a video on that actually came out uh, first quarter, maybe early second quarter of this year. Uh, and, and Bitcoin Rooms is pretty much a meme coin platform for the Bitcoin network. It's a lot more intuitive uh, than the Bitcoin ordinal uh, protocol, but there are still challenges. There are still challenges, I should say, even with the Bitcoin Rooms. And so uh, I was fortunate enough and blessed enough to have stumbled into some information about uh, Bitcoin Fractal uh, through a couple YouTube guys I follow. And just like you guys follow me, as I have mentioned to you previously in, in videos I've done, I get my education on crypto uh, from a, a, a couple places. One is uh, YouTube. Another one, uh, another big one for me is uh, what we call crypto Twitter or X, if you will. And so uh, I hope you find this information helpful. And, and by the way, let me go ahead and say this. I am going to be uh, doing uh, some giveaways uh, towards the end. Uh, now, having said that, uh, I'm going to ask and encourage you to watch the video and listen to the video in its entirety. Uh, I'm going to mention a couple of numbers uh, throughout the video uh, that you're going to need uh, to qualify uh, for these uh, what I call Goshen airdrops that I'll be doing uh, towards the end. And so just, just keep that in mind as well. So with that being said, the, what I'll be doing in this video tutorial, I'll be talking about what is Fractal Bitcoin. I'll be talking about the problem it's looking to solve. I'll be talking about some of the things that you'll need to have in place to be engaged in this new ecosystem. 
We'll talk about how to mint and create fractal Bitcoin tokens. And then we're going to show you how to buy those as well. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you see here, and this website is fractalbitcoin.io. Uh, as always, I'm going to encourage you guys to go out and do your own due diligence. Uh, of course, all I am doing this is an educational video. It is no by no stretch uh, me telling you what you need to do with your, your hard-earned dollars, if you will. So there's no investment advice at all that is being given here. It's just for pure education only. So what is Fractal Bitcoin? It says we welcome you to the Fractal Bitcoin ecosystem where we are all building to scale Bitcoin. And so again, that has been the big knock on the Bitcoin network. It's not scalable. Uh, you can't do anything on it, but you know, use it as money, if you will. Uh, unlike you can with some of the, the other blockchains out there like uh, Ethereum and Solana and some other ones. Uh, Matter of fact, let me make sure I'm on the home page. Let me go home here. Okay, so it says the only native scaling solution completely and instantly compatible with Bitcoin. They call it Bitcoin Fractal. Let's go down. Scaling Bitcoin with Bitcoin. Fractal Bitcoin is the only Bitcoin scaling solution that uses the Bitcoin core code. So that is the whole key, right? Especially for hardcore Bitcoiners, right? They want to make sure that you're not fooling around with the code. You're not me messing with the integrity of the code. If, if they perceive that you are doing that, uh, they, they literally pay you no respect. And so that's why they're making a point here saying that Fractal Bitcoin uses the Bitcoin core code itself to recursively scale unlimited layers on top of the world's most secure and held blockchain. And that's the beauty of Bitcoin. It is the world's most secure uh, blockchain, period, which is why it has the most value of any cryptocurrency out there. Uh, Fractal was conceived as a way to ease network congestion on Bitcoin, enabling wider adoption. That's another thing about Bitcoin. Although it is the most secure blockchain in the world, it is also the slowest <laughs> blockchain in the world. But Fractal is looking to change that. As builders in the Bitcoin space ourselves, we are painfully aware of the limitations of the current tool sets available to deploy large scale applications on Bitcoin. Fractal Bitcoin was created to solve this need for everyone who wants to build and scale mass adoption on Bitcoin itself. Their goal is to extend Bitcoin, not just the planet. Their ethos is focused on expanding the native capabilities of Bitcoin right down to, to the recursive implementation of the Bitcoin core software. They're, now they're talking about building on Bitcoin. Fractal is the first instance of virtualization methodology applied to Bitcoin in the world. Fractal gradually extends the Bitcoin blockchain in a scalable computing system without breaking consistency with the Bitcoin main chain. So again, this is all about enhancing the utility for the Bitcoin blockchain. It's all about scaling it up where you can do a multitude of things like gaming, NFTs, memes, DeFi, etc. Uh, anything else here? Uh, just know, so Fractal Bitcoin was actually deployed a few days ago, guys. And it's an it's, it's a interesting thing. Again, I was blessed enough to have stumbled into some information on it about a week ago. And like I do with most of the things that I don't know anything about, uh, I started to do a lot of due diligence on it, a lot of research on it. And the more I uh, looked into it, the more excited I got uh, about the possibilities here. Again, talking about being with Satoshi Nakamoto back in 2008 and 2009 when Bitcoin was deployed, I get the sense that this could be something that could be similar to that moment. Of course, it won't uh, replace that moment or it's not 100 percent, not 100 uh, percent comparison, if you will, uh, to what happened with uh, Bitcoin and how it changed the world. But uh, I think this is the next evolution into the whole Bitcoin ecosystem growing to, to the point where we'll be able to get it into the hands of the masses. Believe it or not, although Bitcoin was created, what now, 14, 15 years ago, most people are still not doing crypto, which is pretty amazing to me. But I hope uh, what Fractal is looking to do is going to help change that. 
And so again, the purpose of this video, we'll be talking about uh, not only what Fractal Bitcoin is, but we're going to also talk about how to engage the system. And so that the, the, the whole ecosystem, if you will. And so one of the things that I stumbled into uh, relative to engaging the Fractal Bitcoin eco ecosystem was the fact that you needed uh, to get some way, somehow. Uh, their native token, which is called Fractal Bitcoin. FB is the ticker. FB. F as in Frank, B as in Bob. And so I endeavored to find out a couple of days ago how to do that. And you could, uh, at that time, do it one of two ways. If you knew how to mine the Fractal Bitcoin token, you could mine the token. Or thank God for this next platform I am bringing up, DotSwap. Thank God for dot swap. Uh, dot swap, I should say. You see the website, by the way, it's dot swap dot app. And so dot swap allow you to take your Bitcoin and swap it for fractal Bitcoin. And so the way you do that, once you get to the main page here, and I'll make sure I leave these links down in the description of the video below, uh, you'll need to click on V1. So it defaults to the V3 version here, but you want to go to V1. And you'll see here on the V1 swap Bitcoin assets in seconds. And one of the assets uh, that's listed is FB. That's Fractal Bitcoin. And so they literally deployed a front end, uh, this particular website in front end uh, about two and a half days ago. And I was up all night. Uh, I think uh, I was up to maybe 3 a.m. Uh, Saturday night. Uh, I guess that would be Saturday morning late Friday night, early Saturday morning, uh, waiting on them to get this deployed because uh, they posted it on the website saying that it was coming so that I could swap some Bitcoin for some Fracta Bitcoin. So you click on this and literally all you need to do, you'll need to connect this. And, and this is similar to like a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. So you'll need to connect this DEX, decentralized exchange, to your Bitcoin wallet. And you guys may recall when I did a rooms video several months back, I talked about a couple of Bitcoin wallets. Um, the one that you're going to need to engage the fractal Bitcoin network or protocol is Unisat. U-N-I-S-A-T. Uh, you'll see here that Unisat, they have their website. You can download not only uh, their native app to either your smartphone or your tablet, they also have an extension you can download, which I would highly recommend. This is how I'm actually doing most of my uh, trades right now is through the extension. And there it is there. We'll look at that in just a minute. So one of the things, and this is a this is a moment you'll need to sort of jot down or take some notes on. One of the things that you'll need to engage the fractal Bitcoin ecosystem is a Bitcoin wallet. And the only wallet right now that seamlessly uh, engages that new system is Unisat. You'll see also that OKX, I'll mention this a little later, they actually just came out with a wallet uh, a day or so ago. But the one that you want to make sure you have, the main one is uh, Unisat, which you can actually get here. And so going back to DotSwap, uh, once you get Bitcoin loaded in your wallet, here you can send some Bitcoin, and this is Fractal Bitcoin. This is some some of the Fractal Bitcoin I have. I actually have a couple more wallets I've set up. As you guys know, I like to be diversified in doing this, and certainly as I'm making videos, I don't like to show my main wallet. But anyway, uh, you'll need to send Bitcoin, uh, and I'm gonna tell you one of two ways. This is gonna be the more cumbersome of the two, but this is. All that was out there when I got engaged a couple nights ago. And also I had to learn how to do it. And you may want to do a similar thing. But basically the way it works is you'll have Bitcoin sitting in your Unisat wallet. You'll need to connect that wallet, obviously, to this platform here. And it's Unisat. And you need to connect the wallet. And literally what you'll want to do is to... Uh, You'll need to deposit Bitcoin into their wallet in DotSwap. You just click on deposit. You'll see here, you got Bitcoin. You would deposit Bitcoin. You'll tell it how much you want to send and go ahead and send it. And it takes a little while to do this. It took me probably 30, 40 minutes. 
because once you get Bitcoin deposited into uh, this particular wallet in DotSwap, let me go back. Oops. Then you'll need to swap that Bitcoin that has been deposited to Fracta Bitcoin. So once you get your Bitcoin here, so your balance, then you're going to literally swap Bitcoin for Fracta Bitcoin. And then once you get it into Fracta Bitcoin, you're good. Now, because of the fact that you're going to get a lot of different uh, sexes and dexes, uh, centralized and decentralized exchanges engage in this new protocol, uh, one of the first ones that did it uh, from a centralized exchange standpoint was CoinX. And so instead of you having to do all the stuff I just showed you <laughs> to get fractal Bitcoin, which will ultimately be uh, if you did it the way I just mentioned, you would once you get it here, then you would withdraw it from dot swap and deposit it back into your Uniswap. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, your Unisat wallet, uh, which is uh, here. But the, the easiest way to do it right now is to buy fractal Bitcoin directly from Uni, from uh, CoinX. And so CoinX listed this uh, a couple of nights ago. Now, if you're in the United States, uh, I was not required to KYC, although you'll need to use a VPN to access the website. If you're in the U.S., you'll need to use a VPN to access the website. But once you get into the site, you will sign up for an account like you do with any centralized exchange like Coinbase and Binance and KuCoin and all that. And then literally, once you get your uh, account set up, you would, uh, what I did, I ended up sending Bitcoin from my Unisat wallet. I sent it uh, to my CoinX account. Uh, I'm not logged in, but once your Bitcoin gets into your CoinX account, it allows you to then swap that Bitcoin for, you'll see it shows it here, for the fractal Bitcoin, which is what I did. So I would probably recommend that you guys go this route because other route, again, is a little more cumbersome. So if you're looking to buy fractal Bitcoin, which is what you're going to need to engage the fractal Bitcoin ecosystem, it helps uh, to pay for what we call gas in the industry for uh, this particular network. And so uh, what you want to do is buy some fractal Bitcoin. I think the easiest way for most people is to go to CoinX, set up your account. Once you get your account set up, uh, you go in, you can send some Bitcoin or you can send some USDT uh, from wherever wallet you have it or wherever you have it from an exchange standpoint. Let's say if you have Bitcoin in your Coinbase account or USDT in your Coinbase account, you will be able to send that to your CoinX uh, account and then swap that for fractal Bitcoin. Once you have swapped that to fractal Bitcoin and have gotten your fractal Bitcoin, the next step, obviously, is to withdraw it from CoinX, that fractal Bitcoin, and send it to your Unisat wallet. Because uh, you're going to need it in Unisat again to be able to buy these fractal Bitcoin tokens. If you have any questions for me at all relative to, because it's going to be a lot of information. If you have any questions for me at all relative to what you're hearing, feel free to put those questions down in the comments below. I will make sure I get all those questions answered for you. Uh, so again, so some of you bought your Fracta Bitcoin and CoinX and you've sent it to your CoinX wallet. I mean, your Unisat wallet, I should say. And Unisat is here. And you'll you'll notice here, it doesn't show my Fracta Bitcoin address at all. It only shows my Bitcoin address. The reason being is because right now I'm on the Bitcoin network in Unisat. Now, what you'll want to do once you have your fractal Bitcoin and CoinX, you'll want to make sure you go, you change the network within Unisat from Bitcoin to fractal Bitcoin mainnet to get your proper address. So this is the address that you're going to be copying here. You go back to CoinX and you'll be withdrawing your fractal Bitcoin and CoinX to this particular address, not this address. I want to make that really clear. Make sure when you withdraw your fractal Bitcoin that you are switching the network within your Unisat wallet to the fractal Bitcoin mainnet wallet. Copy this address and this is what you'll be pasting uh, when you go to withdraw from your CoinX account. Again, any questions at all relative to that? 
So assuming you've actually done that, you, you will now have some fractal Bitcoin in your Unisat wallet. You're ready to do some business now. Now, let me, uh, I want to digress just for a minute here. So in addition to the fractal Bitcoin token being a big component of this new fractal Bitcoin ecosystem, uh, you'll also want to, you, you should also be curious about some other tokens that are being deployed in this ecosystem. So a token that you want to keep in mind and you can't buy it right now because you could only mint this a couple of days ago and the mint has completely uh, been, been, been completed, if you will. Uh, it's a token that's called CAT. C-A-T is the CAT 20 token. And the only way you could have gotten that token was by having some fractal Bitcoin number one already in your wallet. And then <laughs> dot swap went live with giving us the ability to buy the cat token by swapping fractal Bitcoin for cat. Now, the only exception to you being able to get that cat token was if you were some techie, if you knew how to mine, M-I-N-E, the token, uh, which most people don't know how to do. I was in the process of trying to learn that. But again, thank God for Dot Swap. They came out with this swapping platform that allowed you to not only convert your Bitcoin to the fractal Bitcoin, but then you could literally go in and then swap your Bitcoin for uh, the cat token. Uh, and it was something else. Uh, so I spent, a, again, a lot of hours trying to get some cat token. And thank God I was able to secure a nice bag. So cat, the cat token right now on the Bitcoin Fractal uh, Network is not available to be purchased at the time of this video. And by the way, today is uh, Monday, September 16th. So you can't buy it on any centralized or decentralized exchange yet that should that should change i should say in the coming days and weeks there are some over-the-counter markets that you could potentially buy from but you got to be careful there's a lot of shady stuff a lot of scams going on there so i wouldn't recommend buying a uh, cat at all uh from any otc uh, uh market if you will over-the-counter market just wait until it gets listed on a sex or a dex but the reason i wanted to, the reason i wanted to mention cat is because uh, cat has some huge 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 promises <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact it is is it's, it's quite possible that the cat token that you could only mint mine or buy uh, a day or so ago by swapping your fractal bitcoin to cat it, it is quite possible that that token could do guys like 100 to 500 X over the next several months. And so just sort of keep that in mind. So when you see an opportunity to buy some cat token, and I'll make sure I put the contract address once I get access to it, I'll put it down in the comments in the description below. Make sure, because you can also have a multitude of creators who are dropping several cat tokens. So it's all about the token address, obviously, uh, making sure that you have the right one you're looking to purchase. So I'll make sure I put that token address in the description below. But I would strongly encourage you that when it hits a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange, that you get you a handful of cat tokens that's specific to the uh, Bitcoin fractal protocol so can't say that enough get some cat token guys if i could force you to get some cat tokens i would get you some cat tokens that's specific to is specific to the fractal bitcoin protocol sorry i'm a little distracted i got some stuff popping up on a <laughs> another monitor uh okay so now with that being said there are are a lot of other tokens that you can actually purchase a lot of fractal bitcoin tokens that you can purchase right now that went live on yesterday by you swapping or, or using some of your fb to to mint and mint is basically creating tokens on the blockchain right and, and it's a beautiful thing because so certainly you want to be in a position if you could create a token 
several tokens before they hit a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange. That's the ideal scenario. And so that's another opportunity that we have before us where we can right now go out and mint uh, some of these new tokens uh, out uh, on the fractal Bitcoin protocol. And let me show you how to do that. So on this next screen here, and this is part of Unisat. So you would go to Explorer, uh, Explorer, dot unisat dot io that's explorer dot unisat dot io you'll see here you get a list of tokens that have already been created and inscribed on this new fractal bitcoin protocol let me do a refresh here for a minute uh, make sure we're at the beginning yes and so, and we'll just sort of go down a, the list first before we talk about how you go about actually buying some of these. And so keep in mind again that the Fractal Bitcoin Protocol allows anybody to deploy a new token. So you and I could deploy a token. Once that new token gets deployed, then anybody can go in and mint and inscribe that token. And so what you see here in the first column on the name is these are tokens that somebody deployed to the new Fractal Bitcoin protocol. The first token, again, that was deployed was the CAT token. You cannot buy that right now, as I mentioned earlier, not even through minting it, uh, which is what I did uh, uh, yesterday, which, again, it was it was tough to get, but I was able to get some thank, thank, thanks to DotSwap. But anyway, once that token has been deployed, that means that anybody can go in. You may you have to make sure, let me click on this, that you're on the Fractal mainnet. You can go in and take your FB tokens and you can actually swap the Fractal Bitcoin tokens for these new tokens that have been deployed on the Fractal, the Bitcoin Fractal main, uh, mainnet protocol. Here's how you do that. So you'll see here the cherry is one that has fully minted out. So this token right here is no longer available to be minted and inscribed. You would hope at some point that some of these tokens get listed uh, on a centralized or decentralized exchange. So if you can get them right now before they, they actually get listed, that's when you can make the biggest return, right? Massive returns. Because I think uh, for every token I minted on yesterday, I spent probably less than uh, like a dollar to mint thousands of tokens. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. So here's one here where the mint is still available. So somebody deployed this token uh, on Zero, I guess is the way you pronounce that, but O-N-Z-E-R-O-L. Uh, it has, uh, has about a 57% mint. That means the, of the number of tokens that this person deployed, 57% of the supply has already been minted, but you so you can still get some, which is why that mint button over to the right is active. It also shows you the number of holders, the number of people who've actually gone out and minted this particular token once it was deployed. Uh, and then it also shows you the number of transactions. Let me just scroll down to some of the ones I, I just show you some of the ones I bought yesterday. Uh, Peppy coin uh, for, and again, this is not the Peppy coins that are already out there. This is Peppy coin that is specific to the Bitcoin fractal network, if you will. I actually bought some of this yesterday. You can see the mint has completed on this one. So now the hope is, is that somebody picks this up and put it on some exchange uh, where you can make a lot of return, a lot of X's on your money, if you will. Uh, I bought some S script on yesterday. This is minted out. Bought some Unicorn and some and several others. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll just show you quickly. I already go to my Unisat wallet. You can see here, these are some of the ones I bought yesterday, right? Hustle, Sunrack, this, this. I mean, I got 20 million of Hustle. It'd be great if this thing goes to a dollar, right? <laughs> That'd be 20 million dollars. Heck, I'll take a dime. I'll take a penny. Uh, but to know that I bought 20 million token, it probably cost me $13 or so. <laughs> 13, 14 dollars to mint on yesterday 20 million hustle tokens. The same with Sunrax, uh, same with Fracti and S Crypto. As I mentioned to you here, I ended up uh, getting 174,000 of these. Probably spent uh, maybe maybe a dollar, if that much, 
uh, on yesterday. But anyway, uh, what you're going to want to do, because there are folks, because of the fact that this platform is so new, this protocol is so new, there are new tokens that are being deployed every day. And if you think something might blow up, you, and if it's still available to be minted, you, you want to be in a position to, to, to mint it. And the, what you'll need to have to mint tokens, again, you'll need to have a Unisat wallet. And you'll need to have, in this case, because of the fact that we're minting on the fractal mainnet, the Bitcoin fractal mainnet, you'll need to have some uh, uh, fractal Bitcoin tokens in that wallet. And we just talked about how to go about getting the fractal Bitcoin token. <laughs> Uh, so with that being said, let me show you how to actually do one. So uh, Glizzy uh, that has an interesting name. Looks like this was deployed on yesterday around 658. I'm going to continue to scroll down. So I'm looking at this here. So the 100% you can forget it. You can't mint those. You just hope that if you got in early and got some that they will get listed at some point. Orange is one that uh, not a whole lot of interaction right now. So I would probably bypass this one. I'm going to go to the next list of deployed token. Elon Musk, 100%, 100%. Hello World, zero. I wouldn't touch that one. Let's see if we can get uh, find a token that has some action where folks are out there buying it right now. Bitmap, not much. Look at all these that got uh, have been fully minted, if you will. It's crazy. Keep scrolling. And I know, by the way, that this is probably... Uh, really uh, technical to a lot of people, but that's fine. It's like anything, you you, you start digging into it, uh, start reading up on it. And then at some point, if you're intrigued enough where you want to do it, you test the waters. So I'm going to encourage you guys to test the waters. Hopefully this video will help you do that. So I'm looking at, here's one here, Pizza Dog. I like this. It has a 62% a uh, mint already. You have uh, only 78 holders and 13,000 transactions. So guess what I'm gonna do? I wanna get some of these. Let me show you how to do it. So once you have identified a token that is minable, uh, and mint is basically where you're now gonna be creating some additional tokens out of the supply. Uh, matter of fact, let's see if I can do this. So you can see here, uh, let me click on it, give you more data. And so the person who deployed this particular pizza dog token on the fractal mainnet said, hey, I want to have 21 million on the supply side. Why 21 million? You guys know if you're familiar with Bitcoin, that Bitcoin only has 21 million tokens that can be minted ever. So the same thing here with this pizza dog. The person decided to stick with what Bitcoin was doing, 21 million. Of the 21 million that are available, uh, 13 million have already been minted. Uh, the limit per mint is a thousand. This will mean a little more. Uh, this will mean something to you a little more here in just a minute. Uh, don't worry about this. This is all techie stuff. It gives you the deploy time, how many holders, again, 78, and you have over 13,000 transactions. So let's say if I'm ready to mint this right now. So you, I could do it here or I could go back. Uh, it's going to actually start me over. Let me go down here. It started me back at one. I think I was at three, right? Yeah, here. Or I could do it here. So what I would encourage you guys to do is go ahead and click on uh, the actual token you're looking to mint because you're going to need to know the limit per mint. It's a thousand. It's going to be a thousand with a lot of these, but it, there could be some where it could be 10,000. So you'll need to know this number to actually mint the token. You'll see that in just a minute. And so here's what you want to do next. So you go ahead and click on mint directly. It opens another window. And keep in mind, the first thing you want to do, go ahead and connect your Unisat wallet. Because remember, we're going to literally be taking a portion of our refractor Bitcoin that's in this wallet. And we want to use this to mint this token, this piece of dog. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my wallet, Unisat. And again, you can only do this with Unisat wallet right now. I'm going to sign it. And so you can see my wallet now here, 55Q9, which is the same here, is connected. And the next thing I want to do now is to mint the token. So it defaults automatically to mint. If you wanted to deploy your own token, you would click on deploy. That's for another video. But uh, right now we're talking about how to mint and inscribe. And that's almost like a two tip process because you mint it first. And then if you get the mint and then the system automatically inscribes it. And then that puts it obviously in your wallet. 
And so remember this here, the amount. This is the, let me go back here. This is what this is. The limit per min is a thousand. And so it shows you a thousand, but you have to type that in. And this is where it gets really interesting. You can actually have it meant a multitude of times. And so based on what I have gleaned and learned thus far, uh, at the very minimum, you want to do 25, but uh, I've done 25, 50, and, and, and 100 mints. For the sake of this video, I'm going to do, I'm going to set it at 50. So that means that it'll go out there and mint these tokens for me 50 times. And so we're going to go 50. And we the max you can do, I think, is 100. Yep, you can see here, it went all the way down. So you can move that down, go to 100. So I'm going to do 50 again, do 50. And then you click on next. And then it shows you all the mints that you are about to do. I know it looks like a bunch of hieroglyphics and it is in a, in a lot of ways, but this is the way you do it. Uh, so there's some friction here relative uh, to the, te the tech side of it, where you're going to get most people who won't do it because they just get intimidated by this stuff. But keep in mind, if you're early in an environment and in an investment that has friction, that's a really good thing because at some point, you know, they'll make it uh, less frictionless, which means that the masses will start coming in. And then when the masses come in, that's when you want to start uh, selling some where you would have hopefully made a nice return. But anyway, so it just right here gives you, it says you're about to inscribe. So I just clicked on mint and it's going to inscribe 50 BRC. These are what they call BRC 20 tokens. Like Ethereum is ERC 20 for the Bitcoin fractal uh, protocol is BR. They have BRC 20 tokens and then they also have the CAT 20 and it's CAT 20 token I talked about previously. Right now I'm looking at these tokens here. You, scroll, you can scroll, you don't have to scroll down, but I'm just giving you a visual as to what this thing is. Again, it looks like a bunch of hieroglyphics. Uh, this also shows you a list of the ones I inscribed yesterday. I was really busy doing a lot of uh, minting and inscribing yesterday. So the next step in the process is once you see this, you click on next and it sort of holds your hand and then you'll notice here. So it, it keeps this where it is. And then I have to tell it, it says provide the address to receive the asset. So where would I like to receive the tokens? I want, I want to receive them in my wallet here. So when I click in here, it's going to show me my wallet that's already connected, which is what I want. And, but if you want it to, if you wanted it to be sent to another Bitcoin wallet and it has to be a Bitcoin wallet, uh, like Unisat or Xverse or OKX, uh, you can send it there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on send it to my connected wallet, which is my Unisat wallet. Be that the same. It automatically defaults here to the gas. And so I'll be using again my FB tokens to pay for this mint. I like to do the custom one because I want to increase my ability to secure this mint. Uh, and I've learned that to do that obviously by you know watching some other videos so I always go to custom here for the most part not that big of a difference uh, and then you click on submit and pay invoice so now I got to pay the fee uh, you'll see here it goes out and it shows me how much the mint this mint is gonna cost me so look at the price guys it's point zero five five nine three FB Remember, you have to have FB in this wallet to be able to do the mint. And so what's the actual math on that? So let me go to a calculator here. I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to show it. If you don't see it, just trust me. <laughs> you can pull out your own calculator. So uh, the how much the question you guys should have is uh, what's the cost of an FB token? Well, I can go back here. You'll see the price of FB right now. Let me do a refresh. This is the FB token. It's roughly $26, right? So I'm going to say $26. Where was I? Here. I'm going to pull up the old calculator again. So $26 times, we're going to, and this is the price point, 0.55. Nine, three. And I told you it was going to be a long video, but this is uh, hopefully helpful to you guys. Uh, so it's a dollar and 45 cents. That's what it's going to cost me in a minute if I get a successful mint. And so with that being said, I want to go ahead and pay for this. So click on pay. It's going to actually say, okay, you want to pay with the funds in your wallet? Yes, I do. 
I have to make sure that that thing is auto the my wallet I should say is set on the fractal Bitcoin mainnet which it'll automatically switch it to it if it's not then I can say switch chain and then I have to sign off on the transaction and then it shows me one last time how much it's going to be and I click on sign and pay and so and here's what's happening right now so it's going to go out and hopefully mint and inscribe so you'll see here this is going to change it's going to collect the payment everything is pending right now if it goes through bam this is what you want to know once you get to this point during the inscription process it lets you know that uh, you are in the process of minting those tokens that you just purchased the process could take a little while because again this is the bitcoin network but you are good to go and i'll go back uh hopefully before the end of this video and show you that i actually have that uh that token in my wallet so it shows you 24 unconfirmed so those will start to confirm it shows you again what i just spent is measly a dollar and something and imagine now being able to get these tokens and we'll see how many i get once the mint is completed and then being, a, being in a position where these tokens go up, let's say if it goes to a dollar and I got 20,000, it'd be $20,000, right? And I would have spent a dollar and 45 cents. That's why this is so important. And so if you have any questions again, relative to what you have seen here, feel free to put those questions down in the comment below. Feel free to put those questions down in the comment section below. Also, you'll see it says after the first 24 inscri inscriptions are confirmed, the rest will be inscribed. Please wait patiently. So it is a process, but you don't have to wait on it. Let's say if you want to do another one, let's do one more. I'm going to close this out. Uh, I'm going to go back to my list of uh, available tokens here. I'm going to go back here. You may want to bookmark some of the things like this list if you're going to do it. So you don't have to click on all these windows like I just did. Let's see if we can find another uh, potential mint. So I was on number three here. So I'm buying some pizza dog, which is awesome. Uh, op narrow, interesting, not a whole lot of activity. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay, so we got mood and, and we, I like this pizza fractal. So I like pizza fractal. So we're gonna get some of this one uh, as well. So, and the reason I know I can get it is because the bent button number one is active and number two is only has a 46 percent mint completion thus far so i want to click on this again guys as you recall you click on whatever you're looking to mint you get more information you'll see here this has a thousand limit just like the other one i just did and now we're ready to go ahead and mint directly so we can click on mint directly i'll do one more here i'm going to put in thousand and i want to do another 50 and then we're going to click on next i'm going to speed it up this time you remember this, it just gives you a visual of what you're about to do and click on next. Remember, I like to do custom to make sure my mint goes through, hopefully the first time, sometime it won't, and you have to start the process over. Uh, this is already checked by default and I wanna submit and pay. Ooh, I forgot to tell them my address. So in case you forget that, uh, it's gonna ask you what address would you like to have these tokens sent to? So this is my Unisat wallet address, click on next. And now it's gonna go out and give me a visual. Again, it's gonna be like a dollar and something to buy this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on pay. And we're gonna pay with the fractal Bitcoin tokens I have in my Unisat wallet. I'm gonna sign off on the transaction. It's gonna bring up my wallet again, uh, saying, hey, this. make sure you understand what you're paying. And I'm gonna click on sign. And you're gonna see, hopefully I get that the payment has been accepted and it's gonna start the uh, inscribing process with the inscription so let's see bam love that so payment is in and now it is inscribing the token which is great so we'll let that run so again any questions regarding that don't hesitate to put those questions down in the comment section below now, i did want to mention a couple more things to you uh, i said earlier that okx had begun not only listing some tokens they also created a fractal bitcoin wallet and so you'll see here i actually have i downloaded this on yesterday and tested it out i'm gonna put my let's see if i can remember what the password is for this particular wallet i did so yeah great 
I actually went out yesterday just to test the waters and, and bought some, uh, it's good to see that this thing is double since I bought it yesterday. I was just testing this. I bought some burger. I bought some burger uh, fractal Bitcoin tokens on yesterday on OKX. The reason I bought it on OKX, I, I got a little busy doing something yesterday and I, and I just missed this particular mint. And so there are folks out there now, they're selling their burger token. And you can see, even since I bought it yesterday, it has doubled, which is, is crazy good. As a matter of fact, let's go here. So this is what I had in my wallet this morning. So it, you'll see that it's gone up. I'm gonna refresh this page. Cause that token is gone. Look at it, it's 71, it's crazy good. So let's see if we can click on the burger token. Where are you burger? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to actually get to the token itself here. There it is. Not that familiar yet with OKX. I just set up an account with them and then did my wallet. Uh, you should do the same, but you can see to even today it's up, it's a hundred percent. They get a double, literally double what I bought it for yesterday. I think yesterday I spent about, I want to say like 30, 31, $32. And I have right at $71, which is pretty amazing. And so that goes back to my whole notion again, uh, and letting you guys know about the importance of minting new tokens before they hit an exchange like OKX, right? Because there are some people who pay pennies for these tokens. And now you got a price that's been added to it. So let's say if you had 20, let's say if yesterday, if you were able to get in on that mint and I missed the mint again for burger yesterday, this fractal BRC 20 token. But let me, let me do this. Let's say had I minted 20 million and right now it is uh, selling for one, two, three, one, two, three, one more zero. It is selling for point zero 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 five four two so something that would have cost you less than 10 bucks to do be worth ten thousand eight hundred and forty bucks right now <laughs> how crazy is that crazy good so with that being said okx they have been awesome right so they have jumped on board this new fractal bitcoin ecosystem and and, and mainnet and not only did they initially list the fractal Bitcoin token itself, but they begun also to list other fractal Bitcoin tokens like Burger. So they'll continue to grow this out. Uh, and don't be surprised again that other uh, centralized exchanges will be doing the same. But I really want to impress upon you guys the fact that this is a phenomenal opportunity to get in early to identify whatever tokens you're gonna buy. Uh, I, I have my own list of tokens that I have bought and we'll be adding to that fractal Bitcoin bag, if you will, but get in early. You know, you don't have to break the bank, spend a hundred bucks, 50 bucks, and hopefully you, you get a hundred X off one of those tokens at some point. Uh, so again, let me know if you have any questions at all regarding uh, anything you've heard me say here. Uh, by the way, let's go ahead and take a commercial break and mention the first number. Uh, first number is going to be 44, 44. Uh, and we'll talk about what you'll need to do with that number here in just a minute relative to the giveaway. I am going to be giving away five fractal Bitcoin. Uh, we'll talk about that a little more in just a minute. And you'll be able to take that fractal Bitcoin, which is worth right now about $25 and go out and do what I just showed you how to do and go out and and start minting uh, whatever token you'd like to mint with the hope that it's gonna have some exponential growth where you can make some really good money. All right, so let's see, anything else? Uh, we OKX, one thing you may wanna do too, so I talked about having that Unisat uh, Bitcoin wallet. Go ahead also and get yourself an OKX wallet. So they have an exchange obviously, been around for a while, but they also have a wallet. And this, they have that wallet extension here. So you can go to okx.com and then download the wallet and add it as an extension. They also have a native uh, app for your smartphone, both uh, Androids and also uh, iPhones. Uh, but make sure you add it as an extension because it'll make it a lot easier for you to transact business as you're buying tokens again on this Fractal Bitcoin network. So OKX is, a, is another player 
in the industry is, a, is another part of the ecosystem that I think will be helpful to you as you start growing your fractal Bitcoin bag, if you will. Uh, we mentioned dot swap. Uh, make sure you play around with this. You you certainly are going to need some fractal Bitcoin. Again, the, the easiest way now to do it, you can just buy it directly from CoinX. You can also buy it directly now from OKX. Uh, so you can get it here too. Uh, but you can also swap your Bitcoin uh, in your Unisat wallet uh, and convert the Bitcoin over to Fractal Bitcoin, which is another way. Okay, the other number that you want to make sure you jot down to qualify for this giveaway is the number seven. So it's the number seven, the number seven. So with that being said, this has indeed been a long video. I hope it has been helpful to you relative to uh, you wanting to get involved in the this new fractal Bitcoin ecosystem. Keep in mind, uh, there will be a lot more information out there uh, in the days and weeks and months to come relative to the growth of this particular ecosystem. And as I mentioned to you guys earlier, one of, one of the ways, one of the things I do to keep myself apprised as to what's going on in the industry is to uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos. Another thing is I follow a lot of folks on Twitter. So I want to move over to this, uh, my Twitter page here. Uh, and if you're not following me on Twitter, you should. It's uh, the handle is Goshen Crypto. I'll leave that down in the description below. But this not only... Are you going to want to follow this guy here, Petty, P-E-D-D-Y, 2612? This is Twitter slash X handle. He listed a, a list of other folks you, you should follow. I was following about 90% of these folks anyway, which I discovered over the last couple of days. But it was great to see him put this list together. Must follows in the Fracto ecosystem. So you want to make sure you follow these folks here. To get yourself even more acclimated to all the workings of this fractal ecosystem. Let me expand that out a little more. So you follow all these folks on Twitter slash X. I also saw a post here by, let's see if I can find it. It's actually by the uh, the platform that is deploying this CAT20 protocol, which should be huge, guys. Again, you can't buy CAT20 yet. Uh, but anytime you see something posted saying that you can, that's legitimate. I'm going to encourage you guys to get some CAT20 token. Uh, let's see where to see that. Okay, let's go back one. So that's somewhere. Maybe escaping me right now. What I'll do, I'll make sure I, I include that link down in the description below. I don't see the other one. And just one other thing that uh, I will share with you guys before we get into the giveaway talk is another tool you'll want to add to your Fractal Bitcoin arsenal is the Explorer again on Fractal Bitcoin. And this is the link to it. Uh, I think I actually have it up here. Let's see here yeah and so let me refresh this well I guess I won't refresh it uh, anyway you'll see here so this is the Explorer for the Fracno Bitcoin ecosystem so you can actually go in and copy your address here so this is my address uh, of this uh, what I call burner wallet and you'll see these two tokens I have here. I have the burger token. I have actually, I bought it twice yesterday uh, and I bought this again through OKX. Uh, I bought 85,000 worth, 85,000 tokens worth, I should say, no dollars and then 30,000 tokens here. Uh, so roughly what, uh, 115,000 tokens I have. Burger, that should be confirmed here. Uh, I'm sorry, it's in my OKX. You see that $115,000 worth $61, which is pretty cool. I think it's double since I bought it yesterday. Sort of playing around with it. But anyway, you want to get yourself acclimated to this Fractal Explorer. So make sure you check this out. If you ever wanted to know the actual balance in your wallet account, even before the tokens show up, 
you can see all the activity that's going on with those tokens right here. You'll see transaction. These have been completed, but for those that are pending, it'll show all your pending transactions here as well. So that is uh, FractalExplorer.io. And all you would need to do once you go to the main page, you would paste your wallet address here, and, it's, and then it will show you everything that is going on with that particular wallet. So if you have any questions regarding that uh, for me, feel free to put those down in the comments below. So with that being said, I think that is enough for now. A lot of information to digest. Again, a brand new ecosystem, super exciting uh, in a lot of ways. Matter of fact, I have not been this excited about crypto in a long, long time because I think the potential here to do some really special things financially is huge, guys. So I can't stress that enough. So let me try to help you uh, get into the ecosystem here, the Fractal Bitcoin ecosystem by doing uh, the giveaway. We're going to be giving away uh, one Fractal Bitcoin to five subscribers. And so to qualify, you need to listen carefully. Listen carefully. To qualify for the one Fractal Bitcoin or what I call the Goshen airdrop is, first of all, you need to be a subscriber to the channel, the Crypto Goshen YouTube channel. So if you are not a subscriber, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Thank you very much. Uh, number two, you also need to be a subscriber to the Crypto Goshen Telegram and Twitter. Just showed you the Twitter here. It is Goshen Crypto is my handle. I'll leave that down in the description below. Uh, so in addition to uh, my Twitter, you'll need to also be a subscriber to the Telegram. That link also will be down in the description below as well. Uh, the next thing, certainly you'll need to leave a comment or you can also do it in the form of a question, but you'll need to leave a comment below. If you ask a question, fine, but make sure in addition to the question you ask, if you have any in, in your comment, that I also want you to leave with me in your comment below. I want you to send this to me via Telegram. I want you to put it down in the comments below. The last five digits of your Fractal Bitcoin main net address. And how are you going to find that? You're going to make sure you have your Unisat wallet. And remember, when you go to you, when you download this wallet, it defaults to this page here, the Bitcoin network. You're going to want to click on this drop down here. You want to go to Fractal Bitcoin Mainnet. And this is the address that I want you to send me the last five digits of. It's right here. So you're going to send me these last five digits of your Fractal Bitcoin address. And when I say send it to me, you're going to include that down in the comments below. Because what I'm going to be doing, I'll be marrying that information with the information that you'll be sending over to me via Telegram if you are one of the chosen winners. And so with respect to winners and how you're going to be chosen, it's going to be randomly done. So what I'm going to be doing, and this is going to be happening on this Thursday. This Thursday is September 19th. September 19th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Crypto Goshen is going to be going live and I will be announcing. I'll be certainly taking questions that you have relative to this video during that live stream, but also during that live stream, during that live stream, I will be announcing the five winners. And so once I make that announcement, I'm going to reply to your comment below and I'm going to ask you to send me some additional information, right? In addition to your fractal Bitcoin address here, you're going to also need to send me the two numbers I mentioned in this video. I'm not going to mention those numbers right now. You'll need to listen to the video to find out. But there are two numbers that I've mentioned uh, at two different places. In this video, you're going to be asked to send me those two numbers as well as your fractal Bitcoin address. If you have any questions regarding that, feel free to put those down in the comments below. And part of what I continue to try to do, I try to refine uh, the giveaway system so that we can minimize uh, 
scammers who are looking to take advantage of a situation, if you will. That's what they do. But uh, that's why we're asking you to do it. So let me just repeat the criteria uh, to qualify as a giveaway recipient. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to the Crypto Goshen YouTube channel as I sip some Earl Grey tea here. <laughs> Number two, you need to be a subscriber to the Crypto Goshen Telegram channel. Number three, you need to be a subscriber to the Crypto Goshen Twitter. Number four, you must leave a comment and and or question below. Again, if you have a question, it's about a question about the content of the video. Fine, go ahead and put your question below, but also leave with that, or you can also list it as an additional comment. The last five digits of your fractal Bitcoin address. You need to leave that, and then I'll be doing a live stream on this Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be announcing the winners during that live stream. We'll be choosing and announcing the winners during that live stream, I should say. And we'll be taking your questions as well. So with that being said, we have run a full hour, guys. So I apologize for the length of this video, but it's a lot to cover. Brand new protocol, brand new exciting protocol. Uh, feel free again to put questions below if you have any for me. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Again, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me below. Also, turn on your notifications below. It'll let you know when I post uh, any content relative to this particular channel. Until then, this is Crypto Goshen. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And remember that you and I are blessed to be a blessing. Have a great one. And I look forward to talking to you guys on Thursday. Bye-bye.